it, it is true the victims were waiting long, perhaps too long for this trial to take place, but I uh, would not say it's too late. Uh, it's still a justice which has been, be, been done and seen to be done, and I'm absolutely convinced that many survivors consider this a, a very important day for themselves, allowing them to perhaps move forward and to give this very difficult reconciliation a better chance of being successful. Karadzic insisted on representing himself. That must have been incredibly traumatic for the witnesses. It um, um, was indeed the case that he represented himself. Of course, he had a number of lawyers working with him, uh, supporting him, helping him. Uh, but it is clear that in some cross examinations, for example, for witnesses and survivors, uh, it was sometimes um, a, a difficult situation for, for, for victims and survivors to testify. On the other hand, uh, you know, uh, for many of the victims, it was so important for themselves, for their families, to confront Karadzic, to confront the one alle before allegedly responsible, now officially responsible for the crimes uh, which were committed. So for many, it was very important to be able to tell their story, even if in the presence of Karadzic. And the wider picture now, I, I was in Sarajevo last year, it still feels like a, a frozen conflict. The parliament itself breaks down into ethnic groupings. I wonder if you feel that this will move to heal the country? Unfortunately, I have to agree with you that uh, what I see and what we witness over the last few years, it's far from seeing uh, the country moving forward as, at, as one nation. There is still a lot of nationalism. Uh, many of the person, persons um, prosecuted, convicted by this tribunal are still seen as heroes in their own communities. So there is a, a, lot, a lot of work uh, still to be done. The president of the Republika Srpska, who just this week named a student dormitory after uh, Karadzic, I mean, he himself thinks of himself as a martyr for the Serbian people. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I consider it absolutely irresponsible um, that politicians act in this way. One would expect that politicians in a country, especially in a country still in transition after a difficult conflict, would have a policy to unite people. But what we see uh, is unfortunately exactly the opposite, using again this rhetoric and trying to portray the picture of a hero. If you're a leader, is the lesson don't do genocide or is it don't get caught, don't relinquish power, don't uh, give yourself up to The Hague because this will happen? Do you feel that fear that wars may go on for longer if they prefer to fight to the end? I, I don't think so. Uh, I hope that the signal of this judgment is, well, sometimes it takes long. Perhaps uh, if somebody is still in power, he cannot easily be prosecuted. But at the end of the day, Everybody has to confront the crimes he has committed. But where I agree with you is if we look at the world today, probably never since World War II have there been so many conflicts ongoing. And unfortunately, the rule for many conflicts is impunity and not accountability. And there may be those looking on who say you can do it when it comes to the smaller countries like Bosnia, like Liberia, but you can't realistically imagine the day when a British Prime Minister or an American President would be before you? You know, um, international justice is functioning in a real political world. Uh, but, you know, if there would not have been the ICTY, I don't think that anybody from the conflict with the former Yugoslavia would have been prosecuted. So I think international justice is still relatively young, 25 years old. Uh, that it's far from being perfect, but that there are a number of encouraging uh, signs, and I think this decision today is one of them. Do you think that Bashar al-Assad will ever be referred to you? Can you see that day? The conflict in Syria already today has been longer than the wars in the former Yugoslavia. The number of victims being higher than 250,000 is higher than, than the victims uh, during the conflict in the former Yugoslavia. So I very much hope that sooner or later there will be an accountability mechanism. Which one? I don't know. Uh, it's a decision which has to be taken, uh, I presume, once the conflict is over. Dr. Bramitz, many thanks indeed. Thank you.